Preparation of Bank Reconciliation Statement So my dear, how are you managing things now? Father, things are so interesting now. I love preparing a reconciliation statement. Would you like to see this month's statement? Yes, dear. You know, father, I've started maintaining a cash book to keep a record of all my purchases. Now, even if the balance as per the bank statement is not similar to the balance in my cash book, I can still determine the reasons for the same and plan my purchases accordingly. Aha! How about explaining the same to your father? Well, father, I have a debit balance in my cash book. This means I have spent less amount on purchases this month than my allowance. The same amount is shown as a credit balance in the bank's passbook. On the other hand, if my cash book had shown a credit balance, it would mean a bank overdraft. An overdraft means that I've spent more than the amount lying in my bank account. Go on, I'm impressed. For the month of April 2010, I had the following transactions. My closing balance as per the cash book was 50,000 rupees. I issued a check to my designer for 8,000 rupees, but he has not yet deposited it in his account. This is the case of check issued but not presented for payment. You had made certain investments on my behalf on which I received an interest of 4,000 rupees. It came to my notice only yesterday after viewing the bank statement. It is a case of direct credit in my account. I've yet to record the same in my cash book. I have not recorded bank charges of 500 rupees in my cash book. You had given me a check of 10,000 rupees. I had recorded it in my cash book, but the bank has not yet credited the amount in my account which means that the check was not collected by the bank. Tell me, how have you reconciled the balance? Father, it is very simple. Since the closing balance of the cash book is known to me, I will work all the adjustments from my perspective. My designer has not yet deposited the check. This means, though I have reduced the amount in the cash book, the bank has still not decreased the balance. Thus, I would have to add the amount in the statement. Interest of 4,000 rupees is directly credited to my account. Bank has added the amount to my account, but I have not posted this entry. I need to add this amount in the statement. Bank charges have reduced my balance in the passbook. I have not posted the amount in the cash book. I need to deduct the same in the statement. The check of 10,000 rupees has not yet been credited to my account. I had already added this amount in my cash book, but there is no corresponding entry in the passbook. Thus, I need to reduce 10,000 rupees in the statement. This is good, but how will you present it to me in a statement format? Father, look! I've already prepared the reconciliation statement. Balance as per cash book, 50,000 rupees. Add, checks issued not presented for payment, 8,000 rupees. Interest received not entered in cash book. 4,000 rupees. That makes it 12,000 rupees. Deduct. Bank charges not recorded. 500 rupees. Checks deposited not credited by bank. 10,000 rupees. That makes it 10,500 rupees. Thus, balance as per bank passbook 
51,500 rupees. As you can see, the closing balance as per cash book was 50,000 rupees. Bank's pass should show a balance of 51,500 rupees at the end of the month. Well, let me see what you have here. Mum's bank statement. Hmm. It has closing balance of the passbook mentioned in it. Let me go through it. 1. Closing balance as per the passbook as on 30th April 2010. 75,000 rupees. 2. Check issued to the interior designer was not in cashed. 50,000 rupees. 3. Check received from her business partner for an amount of 25,000 rupees. The same was deposited on 25th April but has still not been credited by the bank. 4. A check of 10,000 rupees which was deposited by us was returned by the bank on 15th April 2010 and check return charges of 350 rupees were levied by the bank. However, advice for the same was received on 1st May. Father, this is also interesting. I'll prepare a bank reconciliation statement right away. Since the closing balance of the passbook is known to me, I will work all the adjustments from the bank's perspective. Check issued to the designer, 50,000 rupees was not in cash. This amount was deducted from the cash book. But bank has yet not reduced the balance. As we are preparing the reconciliation statement from the bank's perspective, bank needs to deduct the amount. An amount of 25,000 rupees has been added in the cash book. But there is no corresponding entry by the bank. To reconcile, bank needs to add the amount in the statement. Bank charges of 350 rupees were already reduced from our balance by the bank. No corresponding entry was made in the cash book at the month end. Bank needs to add an amount of 350 rupees to match their balance with ours. Similarly, check dishonor 10,000 rupees was recorded only by the bank. It needs to be added to reconcile the balances. Balance as per passbook, 75,000 rupees. Check deposited not cleared, 25,000 rupees. Check deposited but dishonored, recorded only in the passbook, 10,000 rupees. Bank charges recorded only in the passbook. 350 rupees that makes it 35,350 rupees deduct checks issued not presented for payment 50,000 rupees balance as per cash book 60,350 rupees as you can see Though the closing balance as per the bank's passbook was 75,000 rupees, cash book should show a balance of 60,350 rupees at the end of the month. What would be the case if there was a bank overdraft? How do we prepare the reconciliation statement? There are no special rules for the same. The reconciliation statement is prepared in exactly the same manner. Only the closing balance has to be written with a negative sign preceding it. Well, have I made myself clear? Cent for cent. You have mastered the art of preparing a bank reconciliation statement. But, in case you want to save the trouble of preparing the same, just reduce your expenses, dear. Well... That was from your perspective. Now let us view the entire situation from my perspective. Had I not been such a spendthrift, you would have not bothered to call the banker to explain the concept of bank reconciliation. <laughs>